Gert Wilders has come first in the Dutch elections. In a shock result that will resound across Europe, the Freedom Party leader will now have to forge alliances in order to lead the country. Joining us from Amsterdam is Bloomberg's Deirdrik Barzil. Deirdrik, look, we were talking about this in the news meeting. In fact, Mark was pushing back on that analogy around, or at least contextualising it around, a shock win for Gert Wilders, given that the polls suggested that he was leading. But the win was big, more seats than many had predicted. How significant is this for the Netherlands? How significant is this for Europe? Europe, given his promise of a referendum. Hi, good morning. I think there are two answers to this. It's, it's very significant. It's a clear shift in the Netherlands towards a more EU skeptic stance and a, a more inward looking stance. Uh, and the other answer is that uh, he got about 24% uh, of, the, of the votes, which, which is not a majority. And in the Netherlands, you always need to form a coalition. And, we would need at least two or three other parties uh, to get a majority. Uh, and in that case, his extreme points of view will definitely be watered down. So it's a big change. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that he can pursue his agenda easily. OK, so we wait to see if he can put together a coalition uh, and we wait to see who will cooperate with him and w whether he can be become the leader, Diederik. Um, what does this mean then for the Netherlands? Where do we go from here? Yeah, for example, uh, if you look at migration, that, that's a topic uh, he campaigned on uh, during the past weeks. Uh, he will find ways and look for ways to crack down on migration, to limit migration. Um, I think you could expect uh, watering down of Dutch climate policies. Uh, I think other parties in the coalition will try to stop it, but uh, the direction won't be more climate, that's for sure. Uh, like I mentioned, more, more inward looking, uh, more EU skeptic. And also aid for Ukraine will be an issue. Uh, he does acknowledge that Russia is the aggressor, uh, but he's not a big supporter of sending a lot of weapons and aid to, uh, to Ukraine. So those will all be topics uh, where like, the Dutch position could, could change.